As we mentioned earlier, Bulger used his good standing with the FBI to take down members of the infamous Patriarca crime family, which has strong ties to Providence. Our in-depth coverage continues now from the Mobile Newsroom with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly. Susan, the capture of James Whitey Bulger and of Osama bin Laden less than two months ago are reminders that the United States government never forgets. A veteran of the state police reflects on Whitey Bulger's links to Rhode Island. A fake parking sign in the office of Rhode Island State Police Superintendent Stephen O'Donnell hints at his passion for fighting organized crime in Rhode Island. This is a man who once went undercover to catch some wise guys involved in illegal gambling. He knows that Whitey Bulger's Winter Hill Gang in Boston and the Patriarcha crime family in Rhode Island were inextricably linked. Patriarcha crime family in New England was, they're the A-team, they're the team that, um, they're the only game in town you had to play. If you were a criminal, an organized criminal, you're responsible to pay them or you'd suffer the consequences, which could be various things. Colonel O'Donnell says one of the questions now is what new crimes might Whitey Bulger be charged with? And what they're looking at is what did he do the time that he was gone? So it, it'll open up a whole different conversation about crimes that may have been committed while he was gone and all the things that you want to piece together while he was on the street. What's the mood here today, Colonel? Well, I think from our perspective and a law enforcement perspective, it's good for the victims. I mean, this is a person that victimized the greater New England area with 19 murders that we're sure that um, where he's being prosecuted for. So in the short, um, barring calling him a serial killer, the victims of Mr. Bulger should have some solace. The capture of Whitey Bulger definitely does bring solace to a retired FBI agent who has a fascinating personal history with the legendary mobster. We tracked him down and we'll have our interview new at six. Live in, with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.